could definitely we could definitely plan for our we 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 conquest of Canada. This is you know, I kinda believe this. This is kinda like, you know, we're trying to reconquer you know, it's kinda like when the French were like completely destroyed by the Nazis. You know, they had to reconquer all their land back. And you know what, this is kinda like that. We're kinda going in and trying to go Oh wow, these th these two fronts actually might not actually me. I've never seen Russia completely occupied. At least by natural great powers, okay. Yes, now they're starting to push through France's defenses. The France gave a really good fight though. They they tried their best even with the bad circumstances. Alright. We're gonna move our soldiers over here. Hopefully this war will not I don't think this war will be over because I think great powers will keep adding stuff to it until almost nothing is left. Oi. Can't add any more war goals though. Dang. <sighs> Can't add any more war goals. That just stinks. But maybe I'm hopefully in time maybe we'll be able to like do an actual invasion of of Canada just to reconquest our homeland now that's gonna sound fun we could start in Vancouver and try to work our way up from there try to reconquest all the land that was lost to us in our Canadian provinces looks like looks like the UK still has everything under control okay and we can just start moving into the rest of the French lands over here gonna be pretty easy seriously gonna be pretty dang easy yeah, they're not gonna pull up much of a threat. Alright. Great wars, there are no guards. No. <laughs> I'm not getting out of this war for any reason besides just to take over you. And even if the other great powers get out of this war, I'm still gonna be in this war fighting you, America. That's for sure. Canada does not give up. And we're also, we do not give up, and we honestly are going to the. Ah, dang it. I thought we were done. <laughs> Canada may have a little bit of inefficiency in terms of how they manage the army, but we still do never give up. We are the Canadians. We never give up. Yeah! Canada! I wonder if you can make a meme of, like, America, but with Canada. Let's see. Yeah! Oh, Canada! I can't do it. <laughs> Somebody come up with that meme. I really want to see that meme on the internet from now on. Okay, so let's see. How many soldiers do we have ready and willing to fight in this next war? Holy shoot, we have lots of soldiers. Okay, well, let me just divide up this army so it doesn't take nutrition. Okay. So we have... Oi. That's actually a decent-sized army. With all these guys... Hmm. We could definitely do this. This this could definitely seem possible. With these four armies, this is going to be the reconquest of Canada's men. With all these guys, we could definitely do it. I could definitely see us going in and defeating... Or taking back all of our factories, our production, and everything. I actually don't... Wait, how does they calculate population if you're completely like... If all the actual people are completely underneath, under one, somebody else's control. They still calculate, I guess, inside your sphere, but I guess you don't get actually any of the taxes? I guess that's how it works? I don't know. I've, I've never actually been completely conquered by another nation, so... This is kind of fun. This is kind of weird for me. But, let's see. They die... Oh yeah, they're almost done. Lazy natives and Elena adapt. That's how it's supposed to be. Yes, just keep adding war goals, people. Just keep adding war goals. Let's extend this war to as far reaches. Oh, they even had they even had the uh, audacity. America had the audacity to demand something from us. What a joke? What a joke right there. Military organization. Uh, we need state capitalism. Wait, right. let's do this. Move our soldiers right over here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty dang good. We're making all of our new factories, and it's a good thing I have so much money, to the point of where I almost think I'll never go bankrupt. Otherwise, this would be a pretty bad <laughs> right about now. Okay. Yep, we finally met. The, the Eastern and Western Front are almost meeting. They are really, really close. I mean, we have almost completely destroyed the Russian Empire and their army over here. Uh, over here, the French are almost being torn apart. America seems to not be affected by any of this, but soon they will be. Oh, trust me. Soon they will be. Are they moving through? Are they conquering? No. They're not conquering. They're just, like, moving through. That's good. I was like, they better not be conquering Mexico, because that's a pretty do. That's a pretty, like, mean move to do. I mean, Mexico is a pretty... They're pretty nice people. They are. Okay, let's go to here. Technology. Naval. We don't really need naval. We just need to make sure 
that we do not get destroyed by the mighty American army when we go over to their side. That's what I'm majorly worried about. But I think, I think with the Great British on our side and, Jap and Japan, I'm pretty sure with both their armies they have been destroying and annihilating the American threat. I'm not sure though, that's a problem. Right, how many ships will we need? Let's see. This is about 20. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot of men. 20, 24. Wait, you know what, let's just do 24. And then we'll just keep going back and forth. Because that's going to be a lot of men as it is. Wait. This is going to be a big, gigantic re-invasion. It's almost like the D-Day. We're almost like doing D-Day before it actually happens. Yeah, America's really hoping I'll give up. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not giving up that easily. Trust me. I'm not giving up that easily. So, are you guys making your ships or... I think they are. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I had more than four ships. Mm-hmm. Okay, and over here, seems like they're almost there. Come on, when are they going to meet? Oh, man, they are so close to meeting. They're, like, right there. Just need one more province, and then the eastern and western conquest of Russia has begun. Or completely finished up, I should say. Just have to wait for a second. Wait for a second. Everyone, look in anticipation. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it definitely... Oh, actually, there's more fish quicker. But, here it comes. Ah. Oh. Auto save everyone, auto save. But here it comes. Here it comes. Definitely hard on the hearts of everyone. Man, is this. Yeah, and it looks like this is the biggest rebellion I've ever seen. The communists definitely have been busy. But now, with all the actual forces of a real properly armed troops, they shouldn't definitely win. Okay, but we do need to have production again. I'm waiting for. Oh, wait, why aren't the ships building anymore? There we go. Should be building now? No? Why aren't they building anymore? Hmm. Sure, well that really would put a damper into things if, if I could not build anymore. Because that means I'd have to put everyone in a much smaller rate. Not completely bad, but not completely good. Okay. Wow, these communists are really, are really just gonna give these guys a lot of run for the money. Well, anyways, it seems like, seems like we're gonna have to do a much smaller invasion because apparently my men just stopped mate. I don't know why they stopped mating. Well, not mating, not mating, but making. I don't know why they stopped making. I'm instead going to move. All right. Well, we have to do a tiny little conquest over here. We're going to start the conquest now. I'm going to start moving some of my soldiers in to go take down Alaska. This is going to be our. D this is where. This is going to be our D-Day. This is where we're going to start out. And from there, we're going to slowly move ourselves up. So, if I can only take 50 at a time, dividing this army right here would be good. Divide it this way. Send half the army over there. Send another good half of this army over down there. Actually go combine with that army. This army looks pretty weak. You guys go combine. How are we doing? How are we doing, Brits and everyone? Yeah, it seems like you guys are doing a pretty united front and conquering back all my land. Good job. <laughs> good job. You guys deserve an A for effort. Okay. So my first... Oh, all my men are going up to go see what we can do. Um, let me see. Let me actually check out the American army. Let's see. Capital Six make up half of the army. That stinks. That really does stink. I don't think I've seen any, like... I don't think they would be guarding Alaska. If I'd be... If I had America, I'd be guarding, like, California and stuff like that. I don't think they'd be guarding Alaska. Especially since this is actually their land. Okay. I mean, they, they had an alliance with, with Russia, so I would think that they would really want that. And I don't think they would have any guards over here. We just have to do this really quickly. It's the only thing, is that if we don't do this really quickly, we could definitely lose this entire army, which would be very bad. Okay. Come on. Unload. Unload faster. Okay. 
I have to be looking at the seas very, very carefully. If I see one American soul ship going, I'm going to have to pause it and quickly try to run away. Because we can't lose this army. We definitely cannot lose this army. It would be very, very bad. Oh, oh, wait. Saving again. Man, there's been lots of those. I want to make sure that this war is being seen. Okay. Yes! The first conquest is about to begin again. Okay. Let's go right here. Gonna go pick up our next army. Okay. Right. We have our first Canadian soldiers that have been on Canadian soil in a very, very long time. And everyone! Yes! The first conquest of our land is back. Oh my goodness, that makes me feel kind of less less stressed out right now. It means we have we have now docked. We have now done our D-Day successfully. With no other evil soldiers around or American soldiers to do anything, we have now landed back our, our troops and are slowly but surely conquering back some of our land. Okay. Wow, that's actually really... You know, I just realized I probably could have just like put all my soldiers like right about here and then just like hmm how long would it take you guys all to get all the way over here just gonna ask just gonna ask okay let's see what does it say let's see the 30th of May 20th 28th June May uh too long we could probably get we could probably have all of our soldiers you know up and going and having D-Day Alaska say before that maybe it's oh, I know this is this is operation Anchorage oh yes this is totally operation Anchorage totally okay Dutch Harbor we have <laughs> okay I'm expecting some American resistance at some point just not yet I'm waiting once I get two armies, I'm hoping I can kind of give them a chokehold right there at Fairbanks. Boy. But for right now, this is going great. The Alaskan reconquest of, of our land is going superbly well. And we have lots of Japanese people to boast about us. I bet the Japanese are just like, Yeah! Yeah! America is going down! Okay, you guys, get onto my ships. We're all going to... We're all going to go to here load up here start docking more and more soldiers because right now we have a major advantage okay yes I could definitely do my pinpoint idea because I'll have enough soldiers right there to just pinpoint everyone alright yeah it seems like it seems like this entire communist the biggest revolution I've ever had in this entire game just like failed miserably just because of the fact that I have powerful alliances oh yeah that's it that stinks for them okay these armies are slightly bit too big I can realize that, so I'm going to split this, these guys up to... Most of my army is kind of reactionary, but I'll deal with that at, at some point. At some point, I'll deal with that, but for right now, I'm not really trying to. I'm just trying to, like, ignore it so I can just move on. And we are slowly conquering back Alaska. Oi. We almost have... We have the little parts of Alaska conquered. We're starting... To, ooh. First... The first American soldiers we see. Mm. Okay, when's our... When's our... Ah, dang. We're still, like, in the very beginnings, aren't we? No, we're somewhere... Where are we? We're right there. Okay. Go, man, go! Faster! Faster than the speed of light! Oi! Come on. Before they, like, reconquer back all this... I don't want them to reconquer back Alaska. Oi. Don't... Oh, my goodness. There's lots of soldiers now coming. Oi. Come on, come on, come on. We have to hold Alaska. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to move in until I get a good, solid, firm foundation into Alaska. Because otherwise this could be a very big, gigantic move. Okay. They're not going to move into us because we have too much defense. Let's see. They're moving towards Uniska and arrive on the 8th. Let's see. Maybe we can use this to our advantage. I use a kind of pinpoint precision. Let's see. When you guys are going to arrive there? the eighth oh this will be perfect if we get this just right we will be defending Unisa Unibar and just be oi so who's got the defensive end we do oh yeah wait do we have defensive uh, military tactics 
Oh no, I think we're actually attacking. Shoot. <laughs> Why does that always happen? Okay, well I'm going to move all my soldiers over here. Yeah, we need to make sure that our Canadian soldiers do not die in this war. Yep, looks like I may have been attacking. Shoot. Well, that army might die. That army might die severely badly. Uh, it's only because I could not... Wait. Yeah, it's only because I could not keep Banks alive. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, it's too bad these transports can't, like, get there any fast. Actually, you guys just start moving up here. This will be much quicker if we just do it, like, right about here. I know I'm probably going to lose a couple of men. Ah. Oh. Retreat. Retreat. I'm asking you guys to retreat. The mod nationalists, of course. Don't really care, though. You know what? I'm just going to keep my men right here. I'm just going to try to keep Dutch Harbor alive. Because so I can probably keep Dutch Harbor alive because it is a defensive position. What? How are they winning against that? I know I'm definitely defending here. Yeah, I'm defending, but they have so many soldiers that it's going to be hard for me to re to do this. Alright, how many soldiers do they have? They probably have 400. We at least have to assume 400 brigades. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have all of our men slowly but surely move up. I have about, about 200k people in total in my army. I could raise so much more if I really have to. That's the good thing about, about China is that it can raise so many men. And we haven't even really tried to really try to boost our economy by this. So let's start actually doing that. Let's start, because I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to lose at least a couple of those men up there. So I'm going to start like building my next army. Let's build some airplanes. Airplanes would be really good for protection. Let's see, we got four, six, eight. Okay, we're going to need some tanks. Tanks is definitely something we need to modernize in our army. Get some more tanks. Get some more tanks. More tanks. We need more tanks. More tanks. Okay. Over here, we're going to need to get some engineers. Yeah, this might take a little bit longer than I expected. This is, I just remember that we're going to have to fight through a ton of tons of soldiers. And America has definitely the resources to fight me with. Okay. Yeah, I think I think the long term long term goal is that I'm just gonna have to move in these guys. <clears throat> well, well, don't crash, don't you dare crash game, and that's the reason why I'm saving every single month right now. Something like that could happen. All right, these guys should all be able to get there in a good oily fashion. The battle moments I kind of realized would be a bad battle for us. Um, over here though, they are taking tons and tons of losses, more than we are. It's slowly turning the tide over to us. Slowly but surely. Surely. Ah. And we are... Oh, come on. 27, 26. Quebec Nationalist. Oh, that's actually really good. That's actually... Oh, come on. Dang it. <laughs> Why did they have to have, like, another big gigantic army? Is that... Why? Where the heck in the States do they still have that army? Okay. Well, I'm going to move these guys away from here. Once my other army gets here, we'll be able to instantly be able to deal with this. Yeah, it looks like we're probably going to lose that battle. Because there are way too many soldiers. But at least we gave America a run for their money again. They are definitely... At least it shows that we could definitely win against America. It's not impossible, people. It's just you probably need another good outpost of, like, defense to make sure you can just go back in and conquer them. A colony like China would definitely help. Let me just say that now. A colony like China would definitely help. Yeah, they're pulling in all their army to try to stop me. You know what would be really good right about now? You know what? This is actually good. If I keep having communist fascists not rise up in my actual provinces, but if they keep rising up in America, that's going to keep causing them a heck of a hard time. Which is good. That's exactly what we need to do. I'm going to move all you guys down here. All you guys should... Ah... I said, did they just destroy all my army, all my ships? No, they did not. Shoo! Oh, that was making me kind of worry there for a second. I was like, oh no, did they just destroy all my ships? Who are all you guys? Go over here, dock up. Ah, oh, dang it, America got, dang it. Russia got out of this war when I was just about to need him. 
I didn't even get to use Russia that much. I'm still gonna, you know what? I'm still gonna use the Russian land. Cause you know what? I'm still allowed to move through it at this point. Probably because they think that I'm gonna move out of it. I'm still gonna use it for my own advantage. Oi. Um, you guys. I'm just probably not gonna be able to dock up anymore, which is gonna stink. So this actually is a good advantage. Okay. Let's go right here. Keep all my soldiers right there. They're reconquesting everything. Yeah, see, they lost a lot of soldiers in that battle. So that means if I just. I just needed more soldiers. That's the only thing I needed right there. That D Day. That D Day failed. That was like. That was a, a pathetic D-Day, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. But we'll be able to we'll be able to rise again, trust me. Russia definitely got out of this war, so that means they are getting tired. War exhaustion is definitely gonna kill them. Montreal rebels, Canadian ultra liberals. Are any of them actually ever gonna stop getting into China? Or am I just gonna keep dealing with Chinese rebels? Okay. Are any of the other power the other powers are not backing down either. That's good. They know that they're gonna win this. They just need to keep focusing. Okay, uh, yeah, they just need to keep focusing and they'll eventually win this, trust me.